Sponsored by Eero. Get $100 off the Eero package and one year of Eero Plus. Link in the description. Wait, no, do not hard quit this video. Don't you do it. Yes, it's Enterprise, I know, but just hold a hot damn second. This Enterprise is kind of cool, mostly because I kind of really love at what it just might be hinting at for the future of all Apple's operating systems and for all of us. So hit subscribe. MDM that bell gizmo so you don't miss the next video, and then take a few shots or several of espresso, whatever it takes to stay with me for everything new for business in iOS 13, iPadOS, macOS Catalina, and all the rest. I'm Renee Ritchie, and this is Vector. Now I'm gonna break this all down into three parts. Well, two parts actually, since the first part, security, I covered already in my hour-long macOS Catalina video, link in the description. That includes read-only system volumes, kernel extensions, driver kit, gatekeeper that doesn't just check for malware on first launch, but every launch, notarization, and a bunch of new privacy permissions. The second part, management, is where it starts to get specifically enterprise cool. Now, Apple's offered device enrollment for a while. That's where a company uses a mobile device management or MDM system to basically take control of a device, decide what you can and can't do with it, and own it from passcode creation to full deletion. Previously, Apple added automated device enrollment as an option. The idea was for zero touch deployment. For example, a company purchased iPhone could be shipped to an employee, still all shrink wrapped up, and that employee could then open it up and it'd be ready to go. No IT worker with cable or hands-on config needed. And from there, the company could just manage it as they needed. And it's great, it's fantastic for company owned phones. Apple will now even let automated enrollment deliver custom branding, content, and consent text, and authentication tied into cloud identity providers. But BYOD, bring your own device, has been a thing for a decade now. That's where a company either allows employees the freedom to buy any device they want to use, or just saves money by making them buy their own devices, or both. The thing is, if you buy it, you own it, and your company shouldn't have complete control over it. Not at all. At least that's where Apple is drawing the line where it comes to control. Whoever bought it gets it. And that brings us to the latest feature, user enrollment. The best way to describe user enrollment is that your device and your stuff is your stuff. But it allows your company to give you some of their stuff and manage just their stuff that they give you. You download an enrollment profile, launch settings, tap enroll, and then sign in with the managed Apple ID your company provides. More on that in a bit. Once your device is enrolled, the company gets its own unique identifier for the device that persists only for as long as it's enrolled. They can configure accounts per app VPN and apps that the company itself installs. They can require a passcode and set up some restrictions. But what they can't do is get any other unique identifiers from the device, like the serial number, the UDID, or the IMEI. Require a complex alphanumeric passcode take over the management of any app that you installed or remotely wipe your device, access any cellular features, add anything that collects log information or adds any supervised restrictions. Again, Apple is drawing the line on who owns the device. If the company makes you buy it or bring it, it's yours, not theirs, and they simply can't take complete control over it. That rests with you and you alone. To make this work, user enrollment creates a separate APFS volume for the managed accounts, apps, and data. It's cryptographically separated from the rest of the device, and it's not backed up to the user's iCloud account. Notes, files, third-party apps, and keychain are completely separated. Mail and calendar are partially separated. For mail, previews, and metadata remain on the user volume, as do events for the calendar. When and if you unenroll it, the separate volume and its encryption keys are simply destroyed, and any apps, accounts, and configurations pushed down by the company are removed. The third part of all this is identity. User enrollment is integrated with managed Apple IDs, which can be created by Apple School Manager for Education and Apple Business Manager for Enterprise. They can also be federated with Microsoft Azure Active Directory, so if you're running that, no need to duplicate your work. Managed Apple IDs provide access to iCloud Notes, iCloud Drive, iCloud Contacts and Calendar, and other services. 
And for user enrollment, the personal Apple ID is associated with all your personal content and the managed Apple ID with anything and everything pushed down by the company. What's more, there's a new single sign-on extension for native apps and the web, so you don't have to create, manage, and remember separate, unique, long, strong passwords for every app and every service. It's used by identity providers and configured by the MDM. So once you log in, that login just works for all your company apps and services, iCloud Keychain, per app VPN, multi-factor authentication, and notifications, including a Kerberos extension to authenticate for websites and Active Directory services. Taken together, it should let everything coexist peacefully, privately, and securely all on one device without the overhead of having to deal with separate environments. It's a clever implementation, but I'll leave it to all of you IT pros out there to let me know what you think about how it works in the comments. Now. If you don't work in IT, but just want a little of that IT style magic in your home, there's Zero. With it, you get total network protection with the ability to block malicious and unwanted content across your entire network. Advanced security that checks the sites you visit against a database of millions of known threats and prevents you from accidentally visiting malicious sites without slowing anything down. Content blocking that automatically tags sites that contain violent, illegal, or adult content so you can choose what your kids can and cannot visit right in the Eero app. Ad blocking that gets rid of annoying ads and pop-ups on all your devices and improves load times for ad-heavy sites so you can browse and stream faster than ever before. Also, VPN protection from Encrypt.me, password management from 1Password, and antivirus software from Malwarebytes. And right now, you can get $100 off the Eero base unit and two beacons package and one year of Eero Plus by going to eero.com slash vector and using promo code vector at checkout. Thanks, Eero, and thanks to all of you for supporting Vector. So, security, management, and identity, those are the three tent poles Apple is using to continue to build out enterprise for iOS 13, iPadOS, and macOS Catalina. If you've tried them, if you're in IT at all, or even if, like me, you're just a mega nerd observing all this cool new tech from afar, do me a favor. Hit like, hit subscribe, and share the video with your IT friends. Then hit up the comments and let me know. What do you think of Apple and Enterprise? Thank you so much for watching and see you next video.